Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Who would have thought that the Dutch government's attempt to protect the supply chain would end up creating a massive hole in the global semiconductor industry? The situation is somewhat ironic. They targeted Nexperia under the guise of security, but the result was a real supply chain earthquake. European automakers were in a panic, Japanese manufacturers were also affected, and even their own companies had to secretly find ways to circumvent government restrictions. The first to panic were European companies that relied on Nexperia chips. On November 13, news broke that automakers like BMW and Volkswagen were secretly negotiating with Nexperia devising a plan called a temporary patch bypassing Nexperia's official channels. They would directly purchase silicon wafers from European factories, ship them to China through logistics companies, and then sign contracts with Chinese packaging plants for final processing. In short, they were bypassing the Dutch government and finding their own way to survive. Why go through all this trouble? It's not just the fear of a supply disruption, Nexperia produces 100 billion chips a year, and many components, from power chips in BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Tesla cars to power chips in mobile phones and interface chips in servers, rely on it. Hildegard Muller, chairman of the German Association of the Automotive Industry, has publicly warned, if the chip problem isn't solved soon, German automakers will have to cut production in the short term, and some factories will almost certainly have to shut down. This isn't an exaggeration. The automotive industry operates on a just-in-time basis. Chips are purchased monthly or even weekly, and large quantities are not stockpiled. Just as supermarkets don't stock up on a year's worth of milk at once, Automakers don't stockpile a year's worth of chips, warehouses can't hold them, and the costs are too high. Now, with a chip supply disruption, production lines can stop at any time. It's not just European automakers, Japanese automakers are also being affected. Nissan will reduce production of its rock model by 900 units and has to adjust its Kyushu and Oihama plants. Honda is in an even worse situation, cutting its full-year earnings forecast by one-fifth on November 7, explicitly stating that part of the reason is a potential shortage of Nexperia chips. Industry estimates suggest that if the Nexperia issue continues to stalemate, 90 million cars, 1.2 billion mobile phones, and 12 million servers globally will be affected. This isn't protecting the supply chain, it's clearly destroying it. So why is the Netherlands doing this? Frankly, it's twofold, first, following the US lead, and second, seeking technological sovereignty. Dutch media have stated directly, we are simply following the US in implementing semiconductor policy. The US previously pressured the Netherlands, and some factions within the country blindly followed the US, knowing this would harm their own people, yet still persisting. Furthermore, Europe has recently been clamoring for technological sovereignty. In late October 2025, German Chancellor Mozart stated that Europe must control key technologies and not rely on others. The Netherlands is using this as a pretext claiming to fear Nexperia's technology leaks, but has never presented any evidence of Nexperia's wrongdoing. In short, it's preemptive suppression, a preemptive strike to seize control regardless of actual issues. This tactic is something the US and Europe have long been adept at using against Chinese tech companies. This isn't the first time Europe has done something like this. In 2022, the UK, citing national security, forced Nexperia to sell its Welsh chip factory, 
requiring the sale of at least 86% of its shares. It was ultimately acquired by the US-based Nuktec. Even earlier, in 2015, Sinochem Group acquired a 37% stake in Pirelli, which, according to the agreement, would have given it nine board seats. However, in 2023, the Italian government declared it unsafe, preventing Sinochem from appointing a CEO and reducing its board seats. Why is Europe so focused on Chinese companies? The underlying reason is fear of being overtaken by China. Previously, Europe, especially Germany, was incredibly strong in engineering and manufacturing. Now, with China's growing strength in these areas, Europe is panicking, fearing the loss of its advantageous position, and trying to use administrative means to stop it. However, the Netherlands, despite its careful planning, miscalculated two points. First, the law it used was outdated, the Goods Availability Act of 1952, enacted during the Cold War. Originally intended to prevent food and fuel shortages during wartime, its application to regulate chip companies has drawn international skepticism. Is this legal? Are the procedures correct? The International Chamber of Commerce directly criticized it as a violation of the rule of law. Second, it underestimated the importance of Nexperia, thinking that seizing control would allow it to dominate the supply chain. It discovered that without Nexperia's chips, European automakers couldn't withstand the pressure, forcing it to back down. Now, even more interestingly, Europe is beginning to rethink its strategic autonomy. Scholars are asking, can Europe truly achieve strategic autonomy? While it's said to be applicable to military and economic matters, when pressured by the US, didn't the Netherlands follow suit? If it can't even protect its own supply chain and has to rely on secretly circumventing government regulations, then isn't strategic autonomy just empty talk? Ultimately, the global supply chain is like a net. If you break one link, the whole net shakes. The Netherlands' attempt to secure its security by seizing companies has backfired, harming itself, its allies, and global industries. European companies are now scrambling to find temporary fixes, and the Netherlands has to send a delegation to China to discuss the matter. If only they had known this earlier.